Hi everybody, welcome to Creative Mini Art Painting. Remember the last unboxing video? We unboxed the Slam Maze Priest. In this video, I'll show you how to paint it. And here's the question. Here's the question. What is the question? The question is How should we do that? Let's take a look. Okay, so first off, I spray painted everything skull white. Then I did some scorch brown washes for the base. All share model gets a Fortescue wash. And here I'm trying to get the right color, kind of bluish, white, gray. And I want to apply this to the belly of the Slamese priest. This is also a wash. Mostly I begin with washes. I work from light to dark. That's why I like to spray paint everything white. So the washes will come out very nice. Some washes you can buy in the store, but most washes I just make myself just by adding some water to the paint. The big bonus for a wash is that uh, it resides in the crevices. So top layers will be more like white and the bottom layers will be slightly darker so it gives a natural shadow effect and when the wash is dry I'm trying to dry brush the top of the belly with some lighter bluish color a lot of white and just a little bit blue. Here I'm starting with uh, the palanquin. That's the chair for the Slamage Prince. Uh, this will be the darkest uh, part of the miniature. Of course, the Slamage Priest will be sitting on this. His back will be against this. So I use some black ink to uh, make very dark lines. Black ink is almost perfect for uh, best contrast lines and shadows. Black ink does some amazing tricks, as you can see. So I also use black ink for the other pieces of the chair. Well, and here I was just playing with some green stuff. I'm trying to make a large trick falling down from a tree or something. Uh, yeah, I'm doing some glue and some stones on it. More glue, more steady grass. Oh, I placed an, a bigger stone. I just found it outside the door in the garden. Yeah, I'm going to apply some scorpion green. To the leaves the slum Mirish Priest will be sitting on. This is watered down, so it's a kind of a wash. And when that is dried up, I took some snot green, watered it down. applied it to the leaves to make the shadows really stand out.
get back to the base. I uh, want to give some more depth for the stones. Bring with some yeah, black ink for more contrast. And here again the leaves on the chair. I use a tiny bit of scorched brown, watered down for the very deep layers of the leaves to give it more, much more depth. Then I mix together these two colors, water purple and golden yellow. I get a, a nice orangey color, watered it down and applied it to the Slamese priest. Here everything is dried up and then I'm using slightly darker color for the deeper parts. Then I mix the same color with a little white to get a lighter color for mostly the top of his head where the light will shine a little bit more. So you see the back is more dark and the top is lighter. The eyes I did with gold and yellow. The bloaty bits uh, beside his mouth I did with a watered down water purple. And then I take a Devlin Nut wash to make some more shadows, especially for the back of the Slamish Priest, which you're not going to see anyway on the model, but well, you have to be perfect. center of the eye are attempting to draw a line with black ink. I use burnished gold for the for all the golden bits.
then again black ink for the crevices of gold parts. It does two things, it makes it a bit older looking and also gives it more contrast. And then some skull white for his little teeth. Back to the base, I'm applying some static grass. First some glue and then static grass. Next to the large stone I apply a bigger chunk of grass and on the side also a piece. Then I mix some colors up, fortress grey, golden yellow and white, it's called white. For the horns, and I'm using some score whites for the bits where are going to be golden. But I first used score white, and then I placed the burnished gold on it. Then gold will stand out some more. Then I mixed up skull white and ultramarine blue for a very light blue for the skin creature on the side of the chair. And some blood red for his eyes, gently applied, and burnished gold for his dagger. Snake on the chair, I'm using blood red, slightly watered down, and I'm trying to make some ring, wings of it. Gives a nice effect. Squash brown for the tricks on the shears. And snake bite leather for the highlights. Scorpion green for the leaves. Then I use some Teflon mud wash, mostly for the uh, metal bits, the golden bits, but also for the chair. And Fortress Grey for the highlights. Then it's time to glue down the tree spiky bits on the bottom of the chair and thing that will make him float on the base. So this is a finished model of the Slamais Priest. I didn't use the banner because I'm going to place this in a unit of Temple Guards who already has a banner. That's enough, I think. Here they are. I already painted this up. And this is complete unit. Temple card with the Slamage Priest. Okay, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Ah, the lizard been coming.